Business News Now. Nigerians are currently reacting to the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN's direction to banks to close accounts of persons or entities involved in cryptocurrency transactions within their systems. The Apex Bank gave the direction in a circular release to deposit money banks, non-bank financial institutions, and other financial institutions on Friday. The Apex Bank noted that disobedience to the directive will attract severe sanctions. This is coming after crypto marketplace Paxful reported that Nigeria had the world's second largest Bitcoin by trading volume. Well, for more on these, we're being joined by B. Tudors. Uh, B is an advertising and marketing expert. B, it's good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. You're welcome. So, first thing first, what, in your opinion, are the possible reasons for the CBN's direction to banks to close accounts of persons involved in cryptocurrency transactions? Okay. Um, the CBN is in its merit to ask banks not to trade crypto, crypto um, currencies anymore or to you know help people trade this but um they shouldn't be talking about you know injuring this entire um process what they should be doing is trying to embrace you know sit with um these cryptocurrency communities to find ways to regulate and look for frameworks for more transparency um Closing a gateway when there are several others is not always the best option. What you know, what the best option usually is to make your gateway more attractive, and then charge a fee or levy for it. Okay, so what does this mean for people involved in cryptocurrency transactions in Nigeria? Basically, I'm talking about the closure of their accounts. What's the implication of this? What is the implication? So yeah. what is going to happen is it's going to have a spiral effect, which will happen that people will start looking for alternatives since they can no longer buy cryptocurrencies with Naira. They'll be looking for alternative currencies, which will most likely be the dollar. And this will lead to scarcity of dollar even further and strengthen dollar further and reduce the value of the Naira, right? Because um, what's going to happen is that imports, um, Foreign currency import dependent merchants are going to have to start looking for alternatives to US dollars when the black market rate is very high. And this will lead them to going for stable coins like USDT, PAX, and the rest. Okay, so a few people on social media did comment that cryptocurrency is the future of transactions. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay. That's where the world is going to. All right, so what will be your advice to government then? Should it embrace rather than ban it? Yes, like, like I said earlier, you, you know, it would do us more good for them to go to the table with the cryptocurrency community and look for how to regulate, you know, these trades rather than banning it outright. Very insightful. Thank you, B. You're welcome. Be it to us is an advertising and marketing expert, and we have been talking about the CBN's directive for banks to close the accounts of persons involved in cryptocurrency transactions. Now, the federal government has flagged off the construction of the National Digital Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center in Abuja to assist in the development of the nation's digital economy. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Pantami, explained that for the country to develop its indigenous digital economy, the nation must first develop its digital innovation and entrepreneurship, and that is the reason for the establishment of the center. Pantami said that the government is developing a national policy on digital innovation and entrepreneurship, which the center and others will implement. Without promoting our indigenous digital innovation on one hand, and also promoting our indigenous digital entrepreneurship on the other, nothing can be achieved in terms of developing our indigenous digital economy in Nigeria. It is because of this that this center is just the beginning, not actually the end. For you to be an inventive, we need to have both invention and entrepreneurship in general. So at this moment, this center is conceptualized to promote these two important aspects of digital economy, 
innovation and entrepreneurship. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.